Imagine you are a tech company in 2025. Your hardware comes from abroad. Your software from imports. Suddenly, you hear, we're going to build it ourselves. That's what China's next phase is saying. Between 2026 and 2030, the country is planning major rewiring, not just of its economy, but its place in the global tech race. China's upcoming five-year plan leans heavily into tech self-reliance. Semiconductors, AI, quantum, rare earth. At the same time, it talks about opening up and global cooperation. So the question becomes, is this a push for global leadership or a defensive move to retreat behind new walls? Why this urgency now? First, export controls and tech blockades from the US and others force China to rethink dependency. Second, China's economic growth is slowing. Household consumption, weak. Building domestic strength is strategic. So in short, staying vulnerable isn't an option anymore. Some critics say China's tech self-reliance means decoupling from the world. But another view is not about hiding. It's about re-engaging on China's terms. For example, Chinese companies forming alliances to build domestic AI stacks and standards. The aim, not isolation, but resilience, able to compete globally from a stronger base. So is China's 2026 to 2030 plan signaling retreat or risk? Maybe it's neither. Maybe it's about running in different lane, one where you are both independent and interconnected. And for business, investment, and innovation, that's a shift worth watching. If you are curious about what modern China is really like, whether for travel, study, business, or just curiosity, come visit my website at ericongchina.com. You'll find real stories, insights, and ways to connect with me personally. Ciao.